I would like to finish my presentation as soon as possible. Let me first appreciate the organization of this conference, especially for my three friends, Professor Toy and Dr. Boy and Mr. Lichu. And I have a small revision for the title of my presentation. The new title of my topic is Interdependent Network Reciprocity in Evolution Age, and this is my basic information. Well, this, this presentation well, this presentation is composed of three parts. The first part is introduction. I will first introduce the importance of cooperation in the universe and the universality of the interdependent phenomena and how to introduce the interdependency into games. Well, for the second part, I will show the details for the interdependent games. I will, I, will try to, I will try to show the impact of two types of unbiased utility function and the biased utility function. Finally, I will briefly show the impact of partial interdependence. And the third part is a summary and the outlook. Now we can look at the first part, this induction. So these figures are from our life. Well, from top panel, we can see people can get through the same poverty in respect to they live along the seaside or in Africa. But for bottom panel, they are too typical of animals. They can only survive through the multiple cooperation. So cooperation is ubiquitous and important for our life. In this sense, how to explain the prevalence of cooperation becomes a very interesting question. Well, through the department of several decades, several decades, game theory has been proved to be a very useful tool. And until now, there has been a great number of mechanisms to explain the prevalence of cooperation. Recently, Nock attributes all these mechanisms to five mechanisms. They are special network reciprocity, team selection, direct reciprocity, and the indirect reciprocity in group selection. But among these five mechanisms, the special network reciprocity attracts the greatest attention and interest. And this is a symmetric picture for the network reciprocity. For instance, we can see cooperators can, cooperators is defected, is denoted by the uh, blue node. From this figure, we can see coverage can survive through mutual the, uh, cluster, through the mutual, through, through forming the uh, compatible clusters. While till now, nearly all the work are implement, implemented on the single network. Well, in our life, we know the status of one network is usually influenced by other systems or, or by other networks. So in this sense, it, was, it will be very interesting in the, to introduce, the, uh, to introduce the, a new framework here we mainly consider interdependence in the uh, network. Well, what's the interdependency? I will first give a brief example. These are both these are two networks. One is for the uh, one is for the Itani power network. One another is for the community network. Uh, they are different networks, have different nodes and different connections. Mm, the status of one of the not only depends not only depends on itself and its neighbors in the same layer, but also depends on the status of the corresponding partner from the other network. If one node loses its function, for example, this, this node loses its function, loses its function, it will cause uh, the corresponding node from other network also lose its function. Finally, it will cause the cascading. Of course, this is just one thing, for example, about the interdependent network. Interdependent, interdependent phenomena are ubiquitous in our life. Now that the interdependent is ubiquitous in our life, uh, the evolution process should not be exceptional. In this line, a source of interesting questions take place. The first question is whether individual cooperation also depends on other systems, especially from the viewpoint of the special reciprocity. If we answer yes, then another question becomes how do we introduce the interdependent interdependency phenomenon in this interdependent theory? Or how does interdependent system affect the cooperation? Of course, there may be many, many approaches, but we think the most effective way is to build the interdependence through the utility, fun utility function because the utility is one of the basic factors in the game theory. So in this presentation, I will mainly, fo I will mainly focus on the interdependent formula of the utility, network symmetric or asymmetric definition. So now we turn to the second part. The evolutionary, the interdependent evolutionary games, in this part, I will consider two, two types of models. The first toy model is the public game. 
And the basis for the convex feature of public gain is the basis for the mathematical formula of the payoffs of the average quantity. For the speaker, as before me, I'll show the details clearly. So, so I don't I don't need to explain them here. And the, the second uh, model is the president is the pairwise interaction game. I I mainly focus on president dynamic game. And this is symmetric physics for the present dynamic I usually I use the knock and May framework for the pair of matrix. Then we can first uh, into the the first case, the impact of unbiased unity function. This is the symmetric feature for integer network. It, the system the system is composed of two different networks. Where among these uh, among these networks there are the internet network links which are denoted by the red dash line. Well, along this dash, red dash line, the direct strategy exchange um, between the networks is not allowed. Then we turn to the um, we turn to the question how to build the dependence. Here we build the interdependence, interdependence uh, through build, through greater the utility function. Um, well, for individual utility, it, all, it also it not only depends on his, his own himself, but also depends on schedules of our network. Here we use a uh, uh, pair of, of uh, his partner from numbers to denote, to denote the schedules. So here is the parameter R, it denotes the interdependent factor, interdependent of coupling strings. Of course, if R equal to zero, it will return to the case of traditional single network. Uh, this increment of uh, uh, interdependent factor, uh, two networks will be coupled, uh, and the utility of one network also depends on the schedules of the other network. So we can just, uh, first to see we can first to see the impact of interdependent factors. Uh, interdependent factors. The, the left panel shows the result uh, of the Monte Carlo simulation. Monte Carlo simulation. While for this, this, this panel saw the result for a new method. I named this is a stretch coupled pair occurring pair, pair occurring And the, this is the details because it's very complex. I don't I don't show the details here. Now we turn to the presentation. Okay. From both figures, from both figures, we can see uh, with the increment of the interdependent factor, the, pro, the, the correlation will be promoted. But there is a critical value. If the interdependent factor is larger than critical value, there will be there will be the quality symmetric breaking. It means the fraction of correlation on both network are different from this figure we can see. Then we can see more details. These figures show the Fraction, so the fraction of correlation on both networks for different interdependent factors. The left panel shows the uh, result for the left panel shows the result for the small values of the interdependent factors. We can see compared with the for from this from this figure left panel, we can see compared with the uh, compared with the single network, uh, the correlation is promoted, and it can also come it can also compose of three 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 big sections: full correlation, full diffraction, and the mixed fraction part. If the interdependent factor R is larger than the critical value, a new bit section takes place. It is the symmetric breaking bit section, which is denoted by the uh, purple. And uh, from this, from this, from this, from middle panel, we can see the fraction of the of fraction of the on both networks are different. This, this is the section of uh, mm, symmetric breaking. Well, for this thing, it can be well predicted by the new method. In this new method, we, can, we also predicted the new, we also predicted the uh, section of symmetrical, symmetrical breaking, it, it, especially if, uh, <laughs> and except for and except for the phase transition, because in this in this uh, method, the phase transition is the first order, but in the metal simulation, the first the phase transition is the second order. Of course, this is this is caused uh, this is caused due to this is caused by the limitation of this method. Uh, uh, except for this trend, there is another unstable, unstable solution which is denoted by this dash line. Then it is very interesting to explain what's the reason, what's the reason for the asymmetric breaking. For the, this panel, we show the uh, fraction of stretch pairs uh, for the small interdependent factor. From this figure, from this panel, we can see with the time cost uh, the values of stretch pairs. Uh, 
are identical in any point of time, but, but if the independent factor is larger than the critical value, <coughs> the system will first reach an unstable pattern or not stable state, which is denoted by this black arrow. Um, but this not stable, uh, not stable state is kind of, kind of, kind of survive due to the little, little perturbation. Well, it finally leads to, it finally leads to the, uh, it finally leads to the symmetric region. But for this much stable, much stable state, we can also get the, uh, we can also get the, we can, for this much stable station, we can get the, uh, we can get the support from the, this unstable solution. Then we turn to, the influence of another type of unstable utility function. For this, for this utility function, for this utility function, we assume that the utility of the individual utility not only, not only involves the himself or pair, but also in, involves the influence of the inter, internal and the external environment. Well, for the internal and external environment, we, uh, they are denoted by the every pair of, of his neighbors from the same network, and the uh, every pair of, of, of the of the neighbor of his partner from another neighbor. So there are two physical, physical risk factors for the utility, which is denoted by part in the page. If the utility factor, if the which factor equal to zero at the same time, it will return to the single, single network case. But if this term is larger than, is larger than zero, two network will be coupled. Then we can first see the result. This is so the result, this so the impact of independent factors for up innovator. From this figure, we can see increasing up innovator will promote coverage, especially for increasing data. We need to increase the independence of the utility function from other levels. We have promote coverage. Well, if we apply what we call it, we explore the time cost for the different straight tires. Um, in this time, in this figure, we use the uh, solid line to we use the solid line to denote the straight tire. Try to tie the region network and we use the dash line to denote the, the fraction of structure between network between networks. From this figure, we can see the erosion is complete synchronous within and between networks. Well, we know for the single network, there will be a feedback there will be feedback feedback mechanism. Well, this feedback mechanism can be uh, regarded as an indicator of special special network special reciprocity. So the same filter. Between and within networks, that means the same evolution trend between the within networks indicates that there may be the exist of interdependent network reciprocity. So the question becomes what how important question becomes how important is synchrony for the evolution society on both networks? To answer this question, we explore the time cost for two particular cases. The first case is really there's no any Disturbance. Another case is disturbed. It means one network is permanent mixed exchange of the strategy. From this figure, we can see the influence of one network not only growing to the. From this figure, we can see the influence of one network not not only growing to the agency of a synchronized emotion on both network, but also lead to the vanish of cooperation. So based on these uh, observations, we can get uh, what's the essence for the interdependent network reciprocity. We get the, the, the claim if, if, uh, there, if there is a spontaneous coordination between, between not, not only two, between different networks. If there is a spontaneous coordination between different networks, the interdependent network can play an important role uh, to promote in, in, in promoting cooperation. Of course, uh, we also, we also provide a direct, a direct observation for interdependent network reciprocity. This, this panel shows, the top panel shows the evolution snapshot for one network. This the bottom panel corresponding, corresponds to the snapshot of, of another network. Initially, there are uh, spatial distribution. Mm, there are two domains or two circles on each network. Where these two circles are falling overlapped, but for these two circles, these two domains, we cannot find the corresponding circles on other networks. With time, because we can see these 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 domains will vanish very soon, but these overlapped domains will effectively expand and finally dominate the 
a system with a soul, we say that only those circle domains that are initially operated on both networks, they can make use of the intelligent network resolution. Well, except for the unbased uh, utility function, we also consider the bearest uh, utility function. We consider the problem from in our master slave function. It means, for example, there are two net there are two networks. For example, for example, there are two net there are two networks, but the rate of utility is different for two networks. The rate of utility can be denoted by the or length of the vertical arrows, for example, these what these, these vertical arrows denote the uh, reach of utility function. From this figure, we can see the blue network will be the master network, and the uh, and the right network will be the slave network. And these uh, these uh, so their utility function under. Under the same condition, or under the same distribution, we can see different network will lead to different, different, different result. For the slave network, we can see finally cooperation. We don't see the systems, but for the master network, only there only there only still uh, a fraction, a, fra a small fraction of cooperation survived. So this uh, first uh, utility function lead to the separation of uh, cooperation from both network. While for this uh, separation of cooperation, see, we can attribute to, to the surprise the feedback mechanism. This shows the term cost for the feed, feedback mechanism. This, is, this, this right line denotes the erosion of the slave network. From this work, we can see the, the defection cannot, ex cannot explain the effectively because its utility is mainly dominated by the, by the master network. Of course, finally, we also uh, saw the result for solar impact for the partially interdependent. Uh, this result show the result for different games, different uh, dynamics, and different uh, topology. But from these figures, we can see uh, optimal observation is optimal observation will be will be uh, graded irrespective of the setup. So this mechanism of partial interdependence will be universal effective. Okay, we can give a brief summary in the, uh, for future work. We consider the interdependent network, and uh, this, this type of framework can enrich the content of special reciprocity. And the time scale for evolution of strategy on interdependent network is crucial for the final quality brain result. And the partially interdependent can lead to an optimal piece. In the analysis we recently we also saw we also studied the we also studied the impact of coevolution mechanisms, uh, but due to the limitation of time, I don't show the result here. And uh, now we are considered the influence of volatility behavior, and we are planning to organize the related experiment in Spain and China. And the last thing are three, I think the three part of people. The first part is my mentors. I sent my mentor Chonsu and Lehi from Hong Kong Baptist University and uh, Yami from Saragossa University. The second part is my collaborators Matthias Attila and Yuri from Europe and the new one Chen from China. And the last part is my friends. They give, they give us very useful suggestions for our work. And based on these results recently, we received the invitation from two, uh, two journals. The first is from is from Prochini of Atrevi. We will write a story about the uh, game theory on interdependent network. Of course, in this in this story, I will try to introduce the application of interdependent network game in other in other social dynamics. While well, another invitation is from this report, we will try to write a review about multi-layer networks, except for the basic definition of, of the networks. Uh, I will I will write one chapter for the processes on multi-layer networks. Of course, in this chapter, I will include the game theory. Of course, okay, thank you.